Hey guys, it's Dre here. So now I have my second of my Everyday Makeup Drawer Shop My Stash series. Um, if you missed the first one, I'll link it so that you can watch the introduction so you know what's going on. But I'm just going to jump into it because I know it's going to be a long video. So first, right in here is my eyebrow stuff. That all stays. I just leave all my eyebrow stuff in there. Same with this one eyeliner that always stays there. But this is all the highlighters here. I'm going to take out everything um, except for, of course, all my makeup use up stuff is going to stay behind. So Champagne Pop is a makeup use up item. This I did use a few times. This e.l.f. highlighter in rose gold. I like it quite a bit. I used my NARS Bonk de Saab palette. This is a really, really beautiful highlighting palette. Great for the summertime. You can see it's getting a lot of love. I use my Physician's Formula Natural Nude. I use the Mary Luminizer um, a few times. And this I didn't put in here last time, but I did a video using it and then I just stuck it in there and kept using the highlighter in this. This is the Clara Cosmetics London palette and the eyeshadows are okay. They're all kind of like very um, metallic so you can't use it just as a palette on its own. But this highlighter here is just so, so, so pretty. There's that highlighter from the Clara Cosmetics palette. If you've never seen Clara Cosmetics, I've picked it up in winters a few times. They're awesome quality. Okay, back here is all like my sunscreens and two priming sprays, so that all stays. So this side is done. Okay, over here on primer, this Joe Fresh Mattifying Primer, oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to be talking about this in a products I regret buying video very soon. So suffice it to say, this is terrible. Don't buy it. Um, this is Makeup Use Up. My Professional can go back. I used that a few times. The Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I think I'm going to keep this in here just because I really need it in the summertime. Um, and then my glitter glue just lives in there too. These are both makeup use up. I'll put back my RCMA powder for a little bit. Okay, these three powders, this Stellar Cosmetics um, Cosmic Face Powder in Haze, it's just okay for under the eye. Like, it's not terrible, but I think there's cheaper stuff that works just as good. The e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, I'm going to put that back for a while. This Innisfree No Sebum Powder, I'm actually going to keep this in here because, again, summertime, I really need that in the summer for mattifying. Um, okay, so concealer, that is my corrector that stays in there. These are both makeup use up. So it's really just these two concealers that I used and they can go back now. The Superstay Better Skin from Maybelline, I don't love it. Um, obviously do love the Tarte Shape Tape though, but I'll put it back for a little bit. I'm gonna put back my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation because I have other powders that work great. Um, this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat liquid foundation. I don't really love it that much. I didn't use it too much, but I did use it, but I'm going to put that back. The Hourglass Stick Foundation. I'll talk about this in my Hits and Misses video. I do like it. And then the Infallible Pro Glow. Um, I think I'll like this more in the winter. In the summertime, it's just my skin is way too oily to use this. It was just a mess, but I did like it for the few hours, oops, for the few hours before my face started getting super oily, but I'm gonna put this back for now. So everything in here now is like makeup use up or stuff I don't wanna put back, so let's move on to what's above this. So I keep my palettes up here, so I had the Claire Cosmetics uh, Desert Rose palette, I'm ready to put that back for a little bit. I had my Naked One, which I'll put back, and then the Natasha Denona Green Brown palette, which I used quite a few times, and I'm gonna put that back as well. Okay, let's start at the bottom where the bronzers go. So my butter bronzer, that is a makeup use up, but I just have to show you guys, look, I finally hit pan on it. So excited about that. Um, I want to keep this in here. I've been really liking it. The Hoola Quickie Stick, this is just a sample. Um, so this can go back for a while. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This, I'm going to tell you now, is going to have a permanent home in this drawer for the rest of the summer. I love it. This is Sun Bask by MAC. Oh, it's so good. And this, I'm realizing, I just don't like the way my bronzer looks when I use this. This is the Too Faced uh, Sweet Tea Bronzer. I don't know. It's really pretty in a swatch. But on my face, it just it just doesn't look right. So anyway, that's going to go back for now, and then we'll figure out what to do with that later. Blushes. There's another thing that's going to permanently live here. Um, Soft Flush by NYX. I love this in the summertime. It's like this burnt apricot 
gorgeousness. Um, I'm sure that'll be in my favorites this month. But everything else in here I used and can go back. So this is Sweet Spring by NYX. I have um, Sweets for My Sweet, Extra Dimension Blush from MAC, and then Cheeky Bits, another Extra Dimension Blush from MAC. Um, Nars Orgasm can go back and then this Smashbox palette. I use this like once or twice. I don't know. I'm not totally in love with this. This is the LA Lights Splash and Highlight Palette in Culver City Coral. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping that, but keep it for now. Okay, everything in this drawer was used at least once. Um, so everything can go back except for i'm just going to keep this just like last time just going to continue keeping this in here this is snowflake by essence this is just what i've been using look at that for my inner corner highlight it's just so pretty so that's going to just stay in here it's completely broken now but the la girl palette i used that i liked it um diamond dust from stila love that of course this i actually did use but the um, applicator broke off so i can't use it now this is Ro rose rio de rose gold from josie marin um i think if you write to the company they'll send you a replacement so i might have to do that and then this i didn't end up liking at all this is the revlon color stay cream eyeshadow in what color is it well, it's the purple one. Anyway, I just didn't like the way it looked on my eyes. It wasn't very nice. Um, and then I did end up using this and I actually really liked it. This is the MAC Dynamically Charged uh, Spellbinder Eyeshadow. So Purple Obsession by L'Oreal, that can go back. And then the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. Um, I did use this once. You know what, I'm gonna keep this in here only because Obviously, I'm not going to use this in fall and winter. It's very much summertime and springtime. So I'm going to keep it in here and maybe use it once or twice more. Then this top drawer, these are both makeup use up palettes. And this one I didn't actually use. So this, oh no, I did use this once. Yeah, I did use this one. So this can go back. So this is the Essence All About Roses eyeshadow palette. And still not entirely sure how to handle this. Sometimes I like to keep there are things that are permanently in here, but sometimes I like to switch things out, sometimes I don't. Um, let me just see if there's anything I use that I know can go back. Um, I guess this can go back, Frida by ColourPop. This can go back, the Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Bellflower. I'll keep that. I guess this MAC one I'll put back too in Soar. Um, S-O-A-R, not S-O-R-E. <laughs> Nude Suede Shoes I'll put back for a while too. I've been using that a lot. And I'm going to put this back because I don't even like it. This is the NYX Faux Whites in White Smoke. And then everything else either I still want to use or is a makeup use up. So those can stay. This unit is on the other side. This drawer on the bottom has my eyelashes in it. So those are just going to stay. And then these are all the lip products. So the top drawer is where I have stuff that I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And then this drawer, I have used everything in here. So all of that is going to be put back. But actually on the top drawer here, this one here, um, I have used a bunch of times. I just love it so much. I just want to keep it in here. This is ColourPop Little Stitches. This is so good. So I want to start on top this time because this is all brand new stuff that I just hauled. So I have to pull stuff from here first. Um, starting with this, definitely going to be bringing in this new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Stick Foundation. These two J-Cat Beauty, they're triple baked eyeshadows, but I'm going to be using them for highlighting. These are both the clay paint liners from Tarte, but I use them as cream eyeshadows. I'm not going to pull in this one this time. I'll put it away, but this one I will. This is Crystal Ball, which is a really beautiful iridescent purple. This I'm going to save for fall. This is a Claire Cosmetics Pro number no. 2 palette. Uh, Laura Mercier lipstick for fall because that's a darker color. So this, um, okay, so this is two eyeshadows that I had previously owned and these two are brand new from Anastasia. So I just put them all in here. So I'm going to be pulling this in. The Man Eater Mascara from Tarte. Um, Fuel from Urban Decay lip color. This is a nice bright for summer. This is Let's Go Crazy from NARS. It's a 100 point perk. ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in The Rabbit and Blotted Lip in Bitto Sunny. 
Um, I'll just take one of these because they're all kind of nudes. So let's just go for chandelier, which is another ultra satin. And then these can get put away for now. I'm also going to not bring in this Tarte um, highlighter yet. I'll save that for next time. I'm going to pull in this because these are all beautiful summer colors. These are all single shadows from ColourPop. And then this I have used a bunch already, but I want to continue using it through the summertime. The 28 color eyeshadow palette. Um, from BH Cosmetics and then also I have used this and I just again want to continue using it through the summer because it's all these crazy bright colors this is the new pro palette from Sephora the editorial one here is my highlighter drawer so I brought in a few new highlighters but I think I could stand to bring in probably two other ones let's go for one of these um, yeah, the Makeup Revolution Blushing Hearts Highlighter, and this one is in Peachy Pink Kisses. I love that one. I also really, oh boy, okay, I really want to bring in this Cover FX one in Moonlight. This is like my favorite highlighter of life, practically. It's so gorgeous. And I actually do want to bring in another one. Which one of these? These are both the NYX Duo Chrome um, Illuminating Powders. This one is in Lavender Steel and Snow Rose. I think I'm gonna go with Snow Rose this time. Definitely need a bunch and I need them to be all like good summer mattifying foundations. So I'm gonna start with Estee Lauder Double Wear. Definitely going to be using that one. Um, Wet n Wild for sure Photo Focus Foundation. That is a really good mattifying one. And Elf or Lancome. I haven't used the Lancome one in a while, so let's do the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Wear. Over here is BB creams. I'm not going to do any BB creams because they're all a little bit too moisturizing for this time of year. So these are all my single shadows and a few small eyeshadow palettes. So let's see, I know for sure, I was thinking about this last week, I haven't used this in a long time. This is a Buxom palette that is like one of those make your own, except I basically just chose a bunch of bright sparkly shadows and kind of with the intention of treating them as if they're single shadows. So I'm going to use this, I love this color in particular, that purple is cool. And I feel like now I have a ton of eyeshadow to use and I still want to bring in one other palette. So there's not really a lot more in here I'm going to pick except I just can't go a week without using one of these. So I'm going to have to do one, I'm going to have to as if I have to do it. Um, but I'm going to do one of the Stila glitters. So let's do... Sunset Cove. Yeah, let's do Sunset Cove, this pink here. I always have trouble picking blush. I don't know why. I always find it very difficult to choose. Okay, so maybe let's start with something from the Balm. I haven't used these in a long time, and I love Down Boy. This is like one of my favorites. So let's pull in Down Boy. I haven't used Quickie in a long time and it's really good for the summer as you can see it's super bright. Um, this is actually pretty decently pigmented but it can be sheared out a little bit. So I'm going to use that one. Oh I haven't used this in a long time. Pe what is this? Petal Power from MAC. That's a really gorgeous color. I usually need about like five to six blushes because I tend to get sick of them after I wear them twice. So I need a good variety. Maybe let's do this Too Faced um, blush in Sparkling Bellini. That one's a good summertime blush. What's this over here? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's do this one from NARS. This is Impudique, um, which was the Sarah Moon blush. This is also very pigmented, so it makes a good kind of summertime color. So that should be enough for blush. Here I have concealer, primer, and brows. So brows are good, like I said before. Um, primer, let's definitely do the NARS Smooth and Protect because that has SPF 50 in it, which is great for summertime. And I definitely want, I kept that Becca one in because it's mattifying. So I'll probably just need those two. Um, yeah, those should be good for now because I also have a makeup use up one. I want to try out this new Maybelline Master Camo. This is a corrector, but I want to try it out. And I need something more full coverage. Oh, definitely this, the NARS, uh, what is this called again? Soft Matte Complete Concealer, let's do that. And how about also the MAC 
Pro Longwear. I haven't used this in a while. And here I have bronzer, contour, and face powder. So one thing for sure, I want to try this Maybelline Fit Me Loose face powder. I haven't tried that yet. Um, the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder. I need a press powder, so I'm going to go with that one. And I feel like I need something for under the eye. Oh, how about this one? The NARS uh, Translucent Crystal. I haven't used this in a while. And then over here for bronzer and contour, um, what did I keep? I kept contour. I kept that MAC bronzer, which I've been using like crazy. So I don't really, I don't know. I feel like I could maybe pull one thing in. Um, but I don't need a whole bunch. I think I'm just going to do the NYC Sunny Bronzer. This bottom drawer here is really just like unused palettes. It's kind of like Toy Story when you put away the toys you no longer play with. That's what this drawer is for. I apologize you guys. This is the worst lit room in the entire house, which is why I never really film here. Um, and I know it's very dark. I have tons of lights on it right now, but it's still dark. So back here is like eyeliners and lip liners. So let's just see. I know there's probably like two lip liners I could probably pull in. How about this one? I haven't used this one in a while. This is Satin Mauve from Essence. And then it's going to fall. And then Naked 2 from Urban Decay. This is a good nude. I've got a ton of black eyeliner still over there. So don't need anything like that. But maybe I'll pull in this gold one from NYX. This one is called Glitzy Gold. And then here is all my liquid lipstick and lip gloss. So lip gloss I don't really tend to use a lot of ever anyway, but maybe I'll just pull in one. I'll pull in the Anastasia lip gloss in Vintage. I like that one a lot. But for liquid lipsticks, let's see. Oh, let's use this one again. This was a find from Winners TJ Maxx. This is the Posh Matte Liquid Lipstick. What is the shade? Oh, it's by Measurable Difference and I think it was called, oh yeah, Fake ID. Okay, so we use that one. I haven't used this one from Stila in a long time. This is Perla, so we can bring that one in. And um, how about the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound? And how about Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild? How many is that now? One, two, three, four, five. That's probably good, except I haven't used these L'Oreal ones in a bit. Oh, so why don't I bring in this one? This is real nice and bright for summertime. And then this is all my regular lipsticks. So starting up here, back here I always forget about, I could pull in Dolly Danger. I haven't used this in a little bit. Um, I also know I wanted to pull in one of my Kate Nude ones over here. So just randomly, because I don't know which is which. Number 42. How about a Wet n Wild? Yeah, this one is 904B Rosebud. This is a really pretty everyday shade. How many more should I get? Maybe like three more? Or maybe four more. How about two from Bite Beauty? Because I haven't used these in a long time. Um, Fig, this is a really pretty kind of oops, everyday rosy pink. And then this one here, yeah, Grenache is really good for the summertime too. It's like a really vibrant fuchsia. And how about... One from MAC, let me see, Impassioned, well, okay, let's try it. I never use this, but this is the season to use it, so I should try this time to actually make an effort to use it. And then also a good one would be from over here, Bare Minerals um, Strip, which is like a really pretty kind of everyday caramelly nude. And actually, I'm going to pull this one in again. I just used this a couple weeks ago, but for summertime, I really like it. That's Kelly Yum Yum from the Kelly Osborne collaboration. Here is where all my regular palettes live, like my more favorite palettes. They live here, which is kind of in another spot, so I almost forgot to do it. Um, so there's two things I'm going to grab from here, I think. The first one, I'm not going to grab both sides of this. This is the Estee Edit palette. Um, it's called, what is it called? Dirty something? Uh, gritty eye palette, gritty and glow. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is the gritty part, uh, which I'm not going to pull in this time, but I am going to pull in the glow part, which can be used as cheek products or it can be used as eye products. So I'm just going to pull that in. And then I also want to pull in the Narcissist um, Loaded palette because this is their like kind of summertime palette and I love it. So I want to continue to use this. Okay, so here's what the final product looks like. Everything has a place. Up here I've got my palettes on top. Um, so the bigger stuff in here. 
All that eyeshadow does fit, so hopefully I can get use out of all of it in this time period. And there's the blush, and then the bronzer drawer. It's looking pretty, you know, slim pickings, but that's okay, because everything in here I use. And then over here on this side, we've got all the lip products. So there you have it. There you go, you guys. I hope that you're enjoying this series. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Jeez, where is my thumb? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That helps me out tremendously. But that's it for today. So I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.